Welcome to another Wayback Wednesday episode of the Patient Attraction Podcast. Colin Receiver here. I'm the founder and CEO of Smartbox Web Marketing. And today I want to share a podcast episode from way back. The one I talked about back in 2013 about automating your patient follow-up. Now it amazes me that here we are over two years later and there's still dentists that don't understand marketing automation and how you can nurture your prospects until they're ready to come into your office and put money down. In this podcast, you're going to find valuable advice about keeping in touch with your existing patients and reaching out to your new ones, saving you and your staff tons of overhead and resources. Our clients have seen the dramatic difference that this one simple step has made for their practices. Enjoy. Good evening, doctor. Today is Tuesday, February 12th. And today's fast thoughts are about ways that you can automate your dental marketing. Um, you know, a lot of dental practices are dedicating a lot of resources right now to uh, keeping in touch with their patients. Uh, you know, front office staff uh, that are doing follow up phone calls and sending out letters and emails and all of this repetitive contact stuff to follow up with patients that aren't moving forward with treatment or have inquired or um, whatever the case may be. And I want to do a quick illustration of how powerful technology can be if you embrace it the right way. And let's assume right now that you're getting one contact a day. Let's say one patient a day is coming to your website and requesting more information uh, or calling you wanting to know more about services. Um, they've come in for a treatment plan and they haven't gone forward. One person a day, hopefully you're getting a lot more than that. One person a day would mean you're getting 30 a month. First month, second month, let's just assume you're getting one patient a day for each month. Uh, by my calculations, that's um, you know 30 the first month, 30 the second month would be 60, 30 the third month would be 180. Um, and let's assume that you're making two contacts with each of these patients or prospects each month. Cumulatively, going out to a 12-month period, if you made two contacts a month with each of these um, warm or cold leads, however you want to classify them, that's going to put you at about 4,600 contacts in the first year. If you go out to two years, you're at 14,040 contacts. Now your front office staff would probably pull their hair out and you would be hiring full-time people to be able to make 14,000 touches if you were doing this manually. Thankfully, there's places, uh, there's companies like Infusionsoft that offer software that can do this for you. You can send out emails, text messages, postcards. Um, now, some of you watching might be familiar with Infusionsoft and you might be saying, well, I don't know how to use postcards with Infusionsoft. Um, I thought Infusionsoft only did email. It can do a lot more than that. So much of Infusionsoft is lost because it's so complex and it's so um, extensive. You can do an incredible amount with it, but the average person doesn't have the time to sit down and learn it. And we hear from dentists frequently that you know they bought Infusionsoft, they laid down uh, three or four or five grand to jump in. Maybe they even sent some of their staff out to Arizona to do their training for about 10 grand a person. Um, and they just could never get their arms wrapped around it. And that's, you know, unfortunately, uh, it, it is a very complex software, but with complexity comes a huge, huge feature set and uh, a huge potential if you know how to embrace it. So 14,000 contacts that you could be making right now with all of your cold leads, warm leads that have not moved forward over the past two years, all for a couple hundred dollars a month at most. Um, and that's if you're using your own Infusionsoft app. If you go through a company uh, like us, for instance, who uh, leases out part of their Infusionsoft app to their clients, um, much less than that. So anyway, that's the tip for today. Uh, ways to automate your dental marketing, to stay in front of your patients. Um, keep moving forward.